What's up everyone, Scott the Trihammer here. Spring has finally taken hold, the ponds are turning, and oh man, pond fishing, we are back in the full swing of it. So I got here at our secret location with Larry, and as I'm walking up, he landed this. So we're set for nothing but bass fishing today, and I got some new stuff I'm gonna try out. We'll get baited up here, but before we do, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down there, notify bell next to it, so you're gonna be the first to see all the great content that's gonna come from this channel. And when you subscribe, if your account setting is on public and I can read your name, I'll give you a shout out in the video I record over the weekend. Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's been real. Oh, such an awesome looking fish. Oh yeah! All right guys, check that out. So yeah, right over this skinnier branch is coming up and down. Mm -hmm. Right underneath it is where I've been seeing it. Him, whatever it is. Oh, one that big is probably a female. I need a different jig for this spot. Need me a structure jig for the spot. Yeah! Oh, this is big. I stuck the fat one. <laughs> oh, yeah! Woohoo! There we go. First bass of 2019. Didn't even feel the strike, just the, I saw the line at when it ended the water start moving a different direction and just swung for the fences. Perfect. Woo! Oh, so it was like maybe seven casts in. I'm not convinced that's the one I keep seeing though. You think the one you're seeing is bigger? I think the one I'm seeing is bigger. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep at it before you go. Oh, sweet sauce. I tell you what, I was figuring that color was going to do it today. All right, guys. Oh, I've been wanting to jig fish for months. But now that we got that out of the system, time to use some of the things I actually came here to use. Some of these. Now, I already said that I'm not sponsored by Guggen Baits. I've been accepted to become part of Team Guggen. It's basically like a street level promotional team. I'm not actually part of the Guggen squad. It's just I use their stuff, I get a discount, and you know, they can encourage I talk about it. So I actually wanted to try these out first at a lake that is not pressured. You guys have seen me fish this place before and you've seen the kind of fish that I've caught out here. You know, case in point, the one that I caught right when I got here. But this place is fished so infrequently that the bass are so used to, or they're not used to seeing a lot of things that are out there. So I want to try these out first here. And this is actually the first time I've held these things. Okay, so the Guggen baits are nice and soft. So they have this almost like anise, almost fennel scent to them. They, it says here they use this, uh, they call it, they call it slaunch sauce. But last couple times I've fished here, I've done well with lizard type creature plastic. So I'm gonna start out with the trench hog. Pull the appendages apart here. And I'm gonna run this Texas rigged. Okay, yeah, so even in this, you know, somewhat dirty water, you know, I could see how these appendages are moving and they are moving fantastically. Just running this on a one quarter ounce tungsten weight for the Texas rig. Oh, that is moving so well in the water. So I'm going with the natural color trench hog. Actually, all the Guggenbait plastics that I got are the natural color. It's sort of this uh, green pumpkin with blue and silver flake on one side and pearl on the belly. Yeah, I love how that thing moves in the water. Look at that. I thought that was a fish for a second. <laughs> so far, nothing doing on the trench hog. Let's try us a slim shake. Oh yeah, look at that chunk. <laughs> That's an easy three. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna throw on a crackling craw. Well, it's warm right now. It's ended up a lot nicer than the forecast said it was going to be. That's what I, I dress for <laughs> it to get cold. Got one? Yep. <laughs> Already. Oh, yes. Dude. Another one. 
Kicking my butt. I think they're all over there where you're at. <laughs> yeah, I was eyeballing this spot here, a little more open. Yep. Yeah, it's wrapped around lily pads though. I don't know what this fish is doing. I figured that was gonna happen. Yeah, it's only 20 pound line though, that's what I get. There we go. Now that time. Oh yeah, get mad. This is another good one. <laughs> yeah, not as thick as the last one you caught, but yeah, that's a that's an easy three. This one. This one got bit. Ooh. Yeah, this one's got a wound on it. You got, you almost became something bigger as lunch. <sighs> Are you the one that took my crackling craw? Obviously not, because you got nothing in you. Oh. As much as I want to use the Guggen baits, this jig's the thing getting it done. All right, I still want to try the Guggen baits, so I'm going to take this grub off, since it's also kind of been shredded. Put a crackling craw on it, but I'm not gonna use the whole crackling craw. I'm gonna take off the last two segments here, just use that much of it. Oh yeah, that's tasty. Well, there's probably some right here because we've had shade here for the last like half hour. Probably moved in here. Yeah, probably like right in here. Yeah. Um, what am I gonna do here? Uh, <laughs> well, it's a small one. You just jump up on the rocks, or rocks, <laughs> on the trees. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, it's a saving grace right now is it's a small one. There you go. What's up, little guy? Oh! <laughs> It'll make it. Quick release. Yep. Feel free to go through my jig tray. So they go from weight, lightest to heaviest, and then also style. So like swim jigs, pitching jigs, football jigs, and then here's the big one ounces I use. Uh, no, that's actually for situations almost like this. If it was heavier vegetation, I'd be pull I'd be pulling out the one ounces so they can get through the lilies. Like if the tool or if the the penny wart over on the other side. The penny wart is the flowering aquatic plant that's uh, growing among the lily pads over there. If that stuff was under a, a little deeper water, I'd be using those one ounces to punch through. And this is where we have to call it, guys. It was an absolutely awesome bass fishing today. Finally got this guy some faith in the jig. I'll probably be using that for a couple months straight. Oh yeah. Now, jig fishing is absolutely my favorite type of bass fishing, like we were talking about earlier. If you if you put a gun to my head and there's only one type of fishing, I, or one type of bass fishing I had to do for the rest of my life, it'd be jig fishing. I'm a believer. Yeah, you had like what, six total? Yep. Six total, uh, like three one, over three pounds. Yeah, one of those was on a spinner. The rest were all on the jig. Yep. I got my two first bass of 2019. I'm not going to complain about catching bass like that. If I keep that tracker track record going this whole year i'm gonna be golden you know first run with the guggen baits i'm gonna i'm gonna give it some more time it was the first place i really thought to try them out was an unpressured pond i'm gonna try them at some more pressured places and sort of gradually go up to places like waverly where i mean everyone bass fishes there but let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down there and notify bell next to it so you're gonna be the first to see all the great content that's gonna come from this channel this guy's got a channel too <laughs> a racing channel? Yeah. This guy's got a racing channel on YouTube where he does a online, what's the game called? It's a NASCAR Heat 3, just right. PS4 online racing. We have a racing league, Giggity Racing League on YouTube. Check us out. Yeah, I'll put a link to his channel down below. Check him out if you want to. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing. <laughs> <laughs>